Hello everyone, this is Terry, and welcome to my channel, and this is my July update, 2021. I'm starting out here in my Survivor Corner. Uh, this is Survivor of the Fittest. If they make it, which I hope they do, then they can stay. But this one is going to a friend as a gift. It's just never bloomed. This is a dumpster diver. You know, one of those overlays. So inside the greenhouse, let's quickly uh, go over what is still in here. Resting uh, files here that have rebloomed, that have been repotted. Over here are more of my paths. I'm sorry, these are paths. And this is a path. These are my paths over here, my multi-florals last flower on my Garavania, and this is my um, Cascade Creek times Sandariano. Really, 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 really nice. Look how long those are. Really, really nice. Next to that is are these two files that have been in bloom forever. Files of San Juan Blue, and then this one right here, which is Hingling something something. Happy Queen. Um, very, very fragrant. Um, Melina um, influenced. Samara, very, very fragrant. Both of them are very fragrant, but they're both, both floriferous. In addition, constantly putting out flowers. And there are more of my paths here. Really nice Phalaenopsis here that has that GW Green world that is so trendy right now. Of course, I got it. Uh, RF Moon. Actually, that is this one, but this has RF Moon in it as well. Yafon yeah, Rose World, which is Green World. That's the wet, that's the one. Half green world. Okay, over here are my corner surveys. Today it's July the 17th. It is a very mild day. It's about 70 degrees. You can see my humidity right now. I don't have my I haven't refilled my humidifiers, but it has been in the 90 percentile range because we've had a lot of rain. But still without them even being on, it's almost 70%. But my corner surveys are still really blooming really, really nicely. I mean, I've never had them bloom so well. They must really like this spot. And I'm not mad at it. And there's another one down there. I have some angle cords that are below that, getting dappled sun and shade, mostly indirect sun. Below there, there's two onrichis, Aranthes onrichis, and those are the two hybrids that are the same plant that is Arangus uh, biloba crossed with um, Distincta. And this is my Dendrobium uniflorum. And then here are two more Angricoids. This is my Calciolaris. And then I've got a cross here. No, this is just a Ranthes Claudata. And I'm really proud of all of my Phalaenopsis, but I'm in particularly really proud of my Giganteas. This is my Tawate cross. And then I've got just the Gigantea species. You can see it's got a new leaf there. And if you peek in between the root, I mean between the leaves there, there's a new leaf, a new root, sticking a new root in there. And the spikes are still green, so they are still capable of blooming from that spike, which they generally do in the winter, winter months. And I've got this Phalaenopsis, which is a uh, LD's, LD uh, Bear King crossed with, uh, I believe it's Dragon Tree Eagle. Nice color and fragrance on that. A little bit of menthol. And then I've got some other fowls here. That's a Cordigera baby. There's an Angricum compactum that's sitting there. My uh, fowl Amabilis. This is the Samba variety is really good and just 
with some more phalaenopsis, and I'll try to put the names in the description. And I have one more of that, that is Falminus times uh, Doritus, I believe. And even this, that is also fragrant. And up here, this is another really nice, this is a KS uh, Super Zebra. Variety of that is Spice Girl, that is fragrant. And back here, I believe that's a Guanapita Pineda, I believe. Um, back here, just my bo some Bobos that are resting here. There's a Grand Flora, uh, Aranthes Grand Flora. This is one of my baby and a Bobons, and just some Phalaenopsis. Here and then I've got these cat layers here that are ceilings that I've left inside. And down below there's more phalaenopsis and there's mostly my bobos that I got from Bill Times that are putting up some new growths. Uh, you can see there's two new growths right there. That's Betsy Star, which is adorable up wind times corpulatum. And then there's a new growth right there. Um, I thought there was a new growth here on Jersey, but now I'm not seeing it might have blasted when I watered. Um, but there's a corpulatum there. Yeah, that's pretty much it so far. This is my boba phylum area. Did just finish flower my nympho politano. Um, and then my echinolavians back there have finished putting up their new growths. And it's got a flower that's in bud. And the only other thing are some phalaenopsis over here. This is just ever blooming, been blooming almost a year. And then this is another green world hybrid flower going out. It's a harlequin. Yeah, that's it. I just don't think that's gonna make it. But anyway, that's it for it's for what's going on inside. Let's walk outside and check out what's going on there. Again, this is July and it is in the evening here. And I am just gonna take you out here and do you a little grief update. Sorry it is so late, I really wanted to get it done at the beginning of the month. Just because I know that the end of the month, it's almost kind of redundant, missing a lot of stuff. And I wanna put this inside, which is my Epidendrum lens that is probably dead if you really want to know. Um, but irrespective of that, let me close the door and we can get started. Okay, and while I'm here, I'll just go ahead and point out my Trichoglottis orchidea, which has been in bloom for a while, but it is in full bloom um, at the present time. Hopefully those flowers aren't in focus because there is really some pretty detail there. But there's just flowers all over. Inside and out. Top to bottom. Very, very rewarding. Likes, likes bright light and lots of water. Behind here, I have some of my deciduous things. There is, behind there has been some of the items. There is Rakiere. And down here is my, um, it's Dendrobium. I, I can't remember right now. It's a species. Um, it's the Roger Orchid. I'll have to come back to me. But here is an antelope. This is my Nindi, which is has matured its uh, its latest growth, the first growth for me actually. I'm hoping to get another one started. And my, um, another antelope, my, um, this is Dendrobium discolor. Yes, and it's got two new growths. Lots of nice roots, new roots, green tip roots. So that's doing well. Last few flowers here on my, uh, this is Sean Orcus, Gamata. Anyway, 
what I was saying about Acreopsis was that it's just a very rewarding plant. And I'm sorry that I don't have a really fresh looking flower, but I really like those dots that are on the end of each petal. It's really pleasing. These are some of my brassavalas, uh, a lot of them up here, around here that I'm expecting blooms, but I don't have any yet. Um, yeah, this is my Dan Sinele. It's got that new growth on it. Doing okay. Um, um, yeah, here's a sheath back there. This is Summer Spots times Nodosa. Okay. Um, on this table, nice root there on that. Um, Every day's Kusadi, which is Valcata crossed with Ororata. And this is my falcata right here with all those new roots there. Um, right here, this is my SLC Golden Wax Times Jalapa. And it gave me two growths. This is a growth right here. And here's a growth right here. Front here is Jungle Elf Times Richard Mueller, which is jungle bird and it's got that nice growth there her fingers crossed on that and this has a lot of nice growth here and there's a nice new growth there on that um looks like that's slc golden wax times something and then here's my selogeny multiflora with two growths here these bloom from the new growths so if they're going to do anything they would be blooming before the buds form so we'll see about that and just more brassavolas back here. This is my uh, rangeras that bloomed in the winter. And in front here is my shamburki. It's my um, epidendrum cross that bloomed. It's got those growths that are growing up that, back there. This is my new Maria Wallisei that has that growth. And this is my repotted golden, no, golden hornet, green hornet, epi green hornet. This is my golden, golden sunburst that has those two growths that are maturing. And next to it is my tenfold, that's the melon, that has the melon kind of squash looking foliage. Up here is a cute flower that is little atro, which is atrovulation crossed with Norman, Bien Norman Bienze. This is my Milton, Mil Miltoniops or Miltonia candida that I got from Tony Wells. It is just in this ceramic pot with sphagnum and it's maturing that growth. Give me another little growth right there. Yay. That's going to be nice to get a mold Miltonia. I've got my Barcarias out here resting. Uh, well, not resting. They like shade and water in the summer. And then in the winter, they like full on sun and dry. Down here is my Dimorphorcus Lowii. Still has that nice root there. And there's another root underneath the media, which has never been re removed from the media. And it's got that new leaf coming up in the center that is still very strong. This is a little baby of my Bastianii, which my Bastianii is recovering right here really nicely. Pulled off a kiki and it's put up another kiki and the leaves here are pumping back up. Um, moving back over this way are just some of my Phalaenopsis that I bought out of the greenhouse to give them a little bit of extra care. Um, this is Phalaenopsis marii, which is not getting any care. It's just getting some moisture and shade out here. 
that is my veichi and Gregan veichi which is beautiful that was given to me by spencer aloysius alonsius aloysius anyway she gave me that thank you um there's uh, my bigger inner bulbon munificum i'm waiting on a growth there here is my prostachia sceptra very very fragrant and here are my encyclia this is my belizensis that is blooming and this is my alada over here spicily fragrant and here is the very fragrant Koshwalis, BC Koshwalis. Not fragrant at the moment, but it has been for days. And in front here, this is my um, Gingerbium uh, Lemon Dance, which is um, tetragon, Tetragonum crossed with William Sonii, and I've got two new growths coming up, which is great. Great, great, great. And this plant behind it, which is a new plant that I got, well, I got it last winter, Utada times Forbesii, and it gave me this growth, and it's got a sheath. So that's special. Uh, moving up this way, this is, I have never blown this hybrid. This is that lemon sherbet, lemon stars, key lime stars, never bloomed it. Hopefully I will soon, I mean, look at the roots. And it's got giving me nice growth. That's the biggest growth I've ever had on that plant. So we'll hope, let's hope there's another these are both uh, deciduous species. This is my pendulum here, but this is the new growth. And this, I forget the name of that one, but that's a deciduous. Um, anything else down here? Here is a spike that I'm seeing here. This is my cat leg utata times Prisabula cordata. So that's really good. This is the tag that goes up here. Cricket. Okay, anything else that I'm missing down here? No, this is my Fuchs Orange that's got some new growths coming up. Um, I've got some Dendrobiums here and there. This is my Forbesii Eye that I got from Michael Genoa. And there's giving me two, there's three new growths. And I'm still, the plant is still good. So fingers crossed on that one. Here is something that's really nice. This is a Florida Suncoast plant that I've got, that I've had a year. Florida Stars times Sugita Spots. And it's been blooming since I got it blooming, but it's been growing since it bloomed. And there is a sheep there, and it's got lots of new growths coming up all over. All over. Okay. This is something really good. I remember when I got this plant and I showed it to you because I got it from uh maybe thailand and when it came it had a little few pieces of dried up leaf and this is my foul braciana which is a species and it can be deciduous in the winter um likes moisture but you can see it's given me two leaves so far so yeah i say that is doing well for just coming from overseas as an import um, let's keep moving on. These are some Bulbophyllums that bloomed for me that I got at Hauserman last, not last year, it was year before. And they are really liking outside. They're doing much better than inside. And some of these other plants, they're really just growing. This just finished blooming. This is my, my Marii Cyclia. And this is my Catlea Chocolate Drop. It has matured this growth and it's got this little growth. Lots of roots. Here is my Phalaenopsis fasciata that I've been trying to get to my friend uh, Felicia, but he's being difficult. Um, it still has that kiki on it. You can see the kiki has roots. Kiki still has the spike. No, here's a spike that is still, that might actually bloom. Look at that. 
you see that green there? That designates that it's gonna branch there and the main plant has a new leaf. So Felicia, this plant is, I've been holding it for you whenever, let me know. This is a Kaisis aria that is uh, recovering. It used to be really big and I got this at Hauserman and now it's, um, it's recovering. It's got that growth coming forward. Uh, this is my copper queen that just finished blooming. Yeah, and here is an example of my encyclia, just mounting bare root that doesn't have any media. You can see straight through it, but you can also see the roots going down and there's a root over the side. This is encyclia ambigua. And I also did that the same with um, this encyclia right here, which is um, Medoror. Roy, and you can kind of see those roots in there. And this one, this one I mounted up their root. Um, but anyway, let me kick that mess because that's really nothing. It was actually one of these Selogeny Confusa that I think it's more confused the plants more confused than I am uh, which is why it's not blooming or never bloomed uh, this is my bulbophyllum long florum red something red blotches that is actually putting out the spikes those are not the flowers as of yet but it is getting there and there are more spikes all over the plant. That's a spike. And um, here's another spike. But yeah, they come out in umbrals. Here is my Stanhopia tigrina, the predator. And it's there's another spike right there that I'm just finding right there. There's one, two, three. I guess not. Okay, so three spikes. I'll take it. That's the predator. Um, back here is uh, Phalaenopsis shulleriana. No fragrance. Here is my Uringus Victoria Nile, which its spike did blast, but it's going to give me another leaf here. My Kachkiana here has still got that spike that's pushing forward. Down here is my hibiki, which there's that spike that's developing there. You can see it right there. Next to it is the, the epidendrum that I got from Echogenera. That, that spike probably blasts, but it's giving me new growth, which is great. And next to it is some other Echogenera stuff. That's uh, Grossa, Gongoa Grossa. This is, that back there is Gongoa Quinqua Nervous. You can see that has a new growth. And this is, um, here's Pafinia Doug Kennedy. And that has a new growth over there. So those are doing excellent. Now, tracking back this way, this is my Stanhopia, no ID that bloomed. It was tagged as Rothschilianum, but don't think it is. But well, we know it's not. Um, here is, well, here is my Trigonopus that I was saying was a one half of the hybrid of the other over there, my Lemon Dance. And here's a new growth coming up on that. That did not bloom for me, which was a disappointment. This is my Cattleya luteota, which is a species that bloomed. Um, here is my Frag, Frag Grande, which I got from Equigenera, and it's, still putting up growths doing well down here is my really big two of my latorias that are putting up new growths this is spectabile and then the other over here is um macrophyllum so i think those are doing really well where they're at both putting up new growths as is 
this one that's outside here, this is Spectabile the Alba, and I don't know if my camera is hitting on it, but there are, they should be showing some of the roots right there, which is great. Great, great, great. Anything down here, maturing growth here on this uh, chocolate drop. This is my one of my SVOs, and well, looks like that growth blasted. Um, that was Florence Lynn times Anceps, not good. Down here are my Skeptras that I got from Equigenera. Here's this one Skeptra, and this is the other. This is a Tortille, which is a species, and it is giving me some growths and kikis. But all in all, my Equigenera things are looking really nice. The sheaths that were on the plant are still intact. And I hope to get some blooms. Let's see, what else? My Grammatophyllum stipilia, stipiliflorum has given me a couple of growths. So I'm gonna try my hardest to get them to stay on the plant this year. I didn't last year. And this is Kawhi Red Drop, which that's a dispute. I don't see chocolate drop in there. Not really much of a fragrance, but there's two spikes and it's given me a lot of flowers that are really full and big and pretty. And it's given me new growths as well. There's a new growth that's coming out the side. So, for so far, that's a really good plant. Um, and this just finished blooming, but it's giving me some new growths. There's one there, and there's one there. That's a Richard Mueller cross. Here's one of my Florida stars, Spring Zing, that I got in the winter. And you can see this is the latest growth. This is the growth that it came with, with the bloom. And this is the newest growth. So I think that's doing good. There's my other Florida stars over here that's got a growth coming. And my big Florida stars is right here. This is my North Miami that just finished blooming. And to the left here is as I'm dropping when I knock leaves off of plants. Um, but anyway, we'll keep it going. This is my peach bird that I divided in the winter, and it's got two growths coming up. This is my uh, BC Daffodil. It's got that new growth in this. So there's one over there. And just more Florida Star Cross, which, and these are more Brasavolas. This is my Fire Dance, Patricia, which has one, two. Um, and there's another growth somewhere. Um, but anyway, really, really nice plant. Maybe there are just two growths, but I'm hoping that that blooms for me. Down here, there's my cat layer ir ir color that has the three sheets still intact from Equigenera. And when you look down at the pot, you can see there are roots coming down at the bottom as well. Same as with my Ancelia Africana, which is next door to it. It's got well, there's a new growth that blasted. So I need to do a little bit better at keeping those growths. This is my Epidendrum ciliare with those growths. This is my this is my small world, and this here is the um, here we go, Lily Marialis, and that is giving me this nice big growth. Susan Joy Carol. Nice big growth there. And I believe this cat layer has started a growth back there, yes. So I am not mad about it. Um, some of these are a little bit slower than others. This is that epidendrum that I got from Equigenera. And this is that little kiki I came with, and it's putting up another kiki. Um, but it's still alive. It's an epidendrum that I got from Slow Orchids. 
It's giving me some new growths. Sepid is giving me new growths. Um, it's pretty much what's going on in the cage. Let's go outside here. Um, can't walk past the door without encountering the first of the Dick Pippin. Pretty. This is a recovering Procatabola Wolfong Jade. That's got nice roots and it's got a nice growth there. This is a Kikosato. Its roots are just waking up. You can see they're all over the tips, even down there. Um, some of these things are mostly just in cichlias. Some have growth, some don't. This is a Laturia dendrobium. Um, this is a recovering Angricoid. This is Angricum. Um, I don't know. It's either in Fundibulare or another one. But it is recovering, as is this, is my Aranthus ramosa, which is a species, and that's a berry. But I was almost going to repot that, and now I see a leaf there. Leaves like lots of moisture. Now, moving on back this way, I'm, I don't need to go back over there, but these are some plants that have been repotted. Um, more epidendrums. This is my Beppy 50th anniversary that's got a couple new growths that should bloom. This is my Dan. Um, this is Fat Falciferum that's still putting up growths and looking strong. That's a nice Procatavola that's pretty new. This back here is a little stars that I don't think it's just maturing a growth. And some of these down here, mini bird should be doing something, but they're growing. And this is a nice new growth on that. And here's another nice growth on this, which is, I don't know, doesn't have a tag, but I think that's got to be a Fred Clark. I don't know, but there's a spike here. This is the spotted clown. Some of these others, this is another one that's the Jalapa times Baptia grape wax. It's got that growth. Um, this is one that might actually bloom. This is my Livida. I've got one little flower on my Livida. That's Prostachia. Well, there's a bud. It was very floriferous for me. And this is a new acquisition right here. I think this is uh, BC Hippodama times uh, Small World. This one is. So, and when we get back around here, this is my Stamp 48 and that's still not doing anything. I'm really kind of disappointed. Here in front next to it is Cat Encyclia Orchid Jungle. That's got that spike. And that's pretty much it for this cart. Over on this cart, this is more of my angricoids um, and other things. This is the Miyaka Black, which has those growths coming up there. This here is Jungle Elf, which has that growth. Next to it is one I got from Yoshi, which is Prescilia Abigail Anderson. And it's giving me two growths. Nice. Uh, Stephanie Takasaki, Saki crossed with Richard Mueller. It's giving me a nice growth there. Next here is a angry gum. Uh, angry gum. What is it? It's a cross. It's Aranthes caudata crossed with angry gum. It's the orange angry gum. Uh, big weary that's that I've had it maybe a couple of weeks 10 days in it and I think that it's putting out some roots and I think that's a new growth in there moving back this way this is another angricoid that's putting this is an angry gum that's putting up a growth that's my lies something lie angry gum but these are both the same Linford White Beauty times Cespus Quidale, that you can see they're putting up new leaves. 
This is my Magdalene, one of them. It's putting up a new leaf. This is one of my Cespospodales that I just put in the Coco Husk. It's putting up a new leaf there, so we'll see. Um, this is my uh, Lady Lisa. It's doing something. And my uh, Longa Scott is putting up roots. Looking good. Also, my Dendrobium Alexandra is finally putting up a growth. And this is my Crestwood, Ingrigum Crestwood. So, I would say my Ingricoids look really, really nice. Um, for the most part, even back here, there's my Scottianum. And here is my Joyce Stewart. Putting up, still putting up leaves on those growths. Um, this is that in Sickly Across that just finished blooming and it's already giving me a growth, two growths down there. That's great. Um, but yeah, that's that rack. And let's move on to the cage. Just things putting up growths, really. These are my galleandras, don't, they don't look so hot. This is the last flower on this cross, and don't mind my fingers, I've been digging. But that is a named cross, but it is, yeah, Sun Coast Tequila Shots. Okay, put the tag back in there. Um, these are the other two divisions of my peach bird that I got. You can see they are putting up growths. Uh, last little breath of Trichia Centrum Carthaginsis, which is down here and has put up that growth. And hanging on that is Delcurii, which has itself put itself on that little twig that I bought back from uh, the rainforest out in the Pacific Northwest. Um, not Claylock. I mean, not the O, not the whole rainforest, but the O. It, uh, the other rainforest. Can't I can't ever remember. But my Brasagulas, like I was saying, should be doing something. This is Flagellaris. This is the waning bloom of a Cucolata, which is a species very fragrant at night. But there's Flagellaris. Here's a Flagellaris times um, Jungle Elf which is giving me a growth there. This, I believe, is a Nodosa. It's giving me growth there. And here's some Trichocentrums that are doing well. This is another Cucolata that's doing well. Um, yeah, lots of growth on my Brasavolas. Here's this that was just recently mounted and you can see the roots are already attached to the spiral and there's no growth there are problems with that this right here is one of the most fragrant things my green in my orchid collection right now this is Encyclia Phoenicia it is the Cayman variety it smells like cocoa powder um what else just a lot of growths and roots let me turn around here Spent bloom here on Copper Queen. Uh, there's my Epidendrum Parkinsonian on that bloom last month. It's giving it a little bit of a rest. Here's the last bloom on that. Here's another Dick Pippin. Um, this here is Francis Fox. That's got a sheath right there. And here are three of those stupid plants. Here's another one. So there, and this plant I got from Jose, and this is BC Helen, I believe, BC Helen, and this is another orchid jungle in Spike, and this is my Rufa Folii Cross. Um. This is Encyclia megalantha, which is a species. Small pseudobulbs, blooms very small. And here's another Dick Pippin. This is uh, Lemon Yum Yum. That does smell 
much like lemon. Speaking of folii, this is a folii, very small. And here's another folii, Encyclia folii. And this is a trichocentrum kumquat. This is, this is a trichocentrum. This is a, this is a superbum, I believe. Um, here is one of my docrillas that just bloomed. At that is a striotis cross. And there's a striolatum here below it. Um, just more mounted prosovilas, catleas. This is my uh, Jiminy Cricket that is pushing out growths. There's a growth there. Going around here is more of the same, really. Um, I've got a little stars here that's got some blooms on it, nice and spotty. That's this little stars. I've got this right here that is Schomburgia Thomsonii times Richard Mueller that's got a spike right there coming out. This is my BC Erosion. It's got nice new growths all over. Um, this is another one of my Aranthus Grandiflora that's got some nice new roots coming. And this is that uh, Spectabile Alba with those roots. So yeah, a lot, a lot of stuff. And this is my Docrilla Shuanina that bloomed. This is a new acquisition right here. This is Thomas Fennel crossed with Tokyo Magic. Um, what else? This is a Tampensis here, as is this is a Encyclia Tampensis. And down here, I've got a Mark Jones times Mark Jones. And right here is Martin Wolf. Here is my Band of Purple Rain. And these are just really kind of resting, not resting, but they're recovering. My two variabilis, Maxillaria variabilis. These are some bifoliates. This is my Borinjana that's got that new growth. And these are, this is uh, Guatemalensis that has a new growth there. This is one I got from maybe Spencer, I'm not sure. But anyway, and here's a Rantiaca. And this is a Martin Wolf, I believe. And just more stuff that is resting. That's that Pauline that blooms, gave me two spike, two blooms, two uh, new growths this year. Um, these are Anseps. They're starting to give me growth. So yeah. And here's another one of those roof crosses. I don't know why. I have two, but I'm going with it. So yeah, that is it, folks. Thanks for enduring that tour. That was so long. Hopefully you're still awake. And if you ever see this plant, get it for the cocoa.